What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Fort Collins, Colorado. We're up here north of Denver, maybe an hour, hour and some change north of Denver. If you're new to the channel, we travel around all types of cities, states, and towns. Today's adventure, Fort Collins. Population here at the time of the video, just over 168,000 folks. Let's check it out. So we are on Mulberry, heading west. Catch, catch the eye. I don't, I didn't catch that. What that that sign said. That was a river, but couldn't catch it. downtown up here crossing over Riverside all right enough of that Reminds me of Boulder. Wow, look at that house. So we got some houses, some shops, this residential area. It looks like we're getting into the center of town, downtown area. Probably one of the smallest targets I've ever seen. But still very cool. There's a place up here called Good Times. I thought it was a fish place, but it looks like it's burgers. We got Lucky's Market. Got to be a grocery shop, grocery store. Getting another customer there. A lot of roof racks out here in Colorado. Crossing over Mason Street. We're taking a ride up here. Let's turn here to Howells Street. Town, Fort Collins, pretty cool. Big old Christmas tree looking tree. It's a federal building in the United States Post Office. This has got to be beautiful in the fall time and spring. Not that it's not beautiful now, I'm just saying with the the trees and lights and all that stuff. Lights, the trees and leaves. And you can see the mountains off in the distance here to the left, as you saw earlier. I'm not sure what this guy's plan is on the bike. I wonder if that's an electric, is that an electric bike? I don't know, but he's not going very fast. He's in the road. Coming up to Laporte. Man, that bus looks like the bus from uh, Into the Wild. That's cool. And she's waving me through, even though it was her turn. Thank you, kind person. 
Maybe an extra wave for Brit trips. Man, this is cool. It's like got this like old western historic vibe going on. Plus the new stuff with the industrial crane there. But you know what I mean. Looks like they're building some apartment complexes here. I wonder what main main businesses are around here. I mean, it's not too far from Denver, but I don't know if, you, if that's a daily commute or, or what. But, you know, you spend an hour in traffic anyways in major metro, so. Who knows? All right, and here we go on the College Avenue. I saw a sign that said Colorado State University, but I thought Colorado State University was in Boulder. I'm not sure. Let me know in the... Uh, let me know in the comments. Right. I need to get over here. Perfect. And one more. Yes. All right, we're coming up to Vine Drive. over there on the left with I think solar panels. More big solar panel blocks. Linden Street. And I'm referring to a show. It's a pretty good show. It's called The Killing. I think the lead detective's name was Linden. Huh. Looks like we're on a bit of more of an industrial side here. Industrial side of town. Larimer County. straight through town. It's a lot of rail lines. Let's see what's up here. Oh, they're laying this stuff out for development. I'm guessing houses on the left. century maybe looks like it's got a basement too and we got some apartments here to the right too we got solar panels up there and everything <laughs> 